Uh, question one. Uh, mm -hmm. We're going to try alphabet search practice one more time. So start from the max node. And we already know in the max node, alpha starts from the negative infinity, like a low enough. Beta starts from infinity, high enough. Then all the way left. So when the max node searches one, max node is now guaranteed greater than or equal to one, at least one, because it's the max node. Then after it searches 17, it becomes greater than or equal to 17. Then there's a numerous successor, so 17 is returned. In that case, now min node is less than or equal to 17. In the second successor, max node. Then when you reach 18, this uh, max node is guaranteed greater than or equal to 18. That means it will never become less than or equal to 17, so prune. In the second subtree, now in the max node, ah, prune, so it returns 18. Then min node will return 17. Then in the max value, max node, it's going to get the value is greater than or equal to 17. That means alpha is updated at 17. In the second successor, the, this min node starts from alpha 17, then beta infinity. Then in the old way left, in the max node, when it reaches a 5, this max node guaranteed greater than or equal to 5. Then when it reaches, uh, when it searches a 4, this is done, so it returns 5 as the max value. This means the min node will be guaranteed less than or equal to 5. And beta is updated to 5 here. So that means this min node is guaranteed less than or equal to 5, but upper level alpha is already no, it's going to be greater than or equal to 17. This means you don't have to search anymore because when you search more, what you find is only less than or equal to 5. Now in the third, if you go all the way left to there is 13, that means this max node is greater than or equal to 13. Oh, by the way, this min node starts from alpha 17 and beta is still infinity. Then, because this max node is greater than or equal to uh, 13 is still less than beta, not greater than beta. So it is a keep searching it. So 15, now this node becomes greater than or equal to 15. Then this means this min node is guaranteed less than or equal to 15. That means you don't have to search it more again because upper level max node is greater than or equal to 17. So it does not search it more than just to return 15. Then this whole tree will return value 17 as the maximum. Now, today's one is a probabilistic cut algorithm. Whenever we use expected max alpha beta, we have a range of the values. So you can think about you are going to cut at certain depths D, then you are going to do a kind of shallow search to compute the probability like a vector value B. And while you're doing that, you can also see you know, what's the probability for a certain branch by using the shallow search. Uh, this expected alphabet, we are not going to think about the, how to implement when shallow search is done, how to calculate and how to prune. To make the prune easily, yeah, range is very important. So this game tree guarantees Negative 10 is the minimum value this game tree can have, and 10 is the maximum value of this game tree. Then we are going to use this max or min to predict, then prune. Ah, one more thing is the probability. For the each node, anyway, you have to choose one of the successors. So some of the probability is always one. That means 100%, so 10%, 50%, 40%. Then the second one also, the sum is one. Third one also sum is one. Then if I search it, first all the way down, then this is the min node, so I'm going to choose low value. So that is 0 0.8. Actually, at the beginning, by using the alpha and beta, it's going to calculate all the predictions, but 
for the sub, first subtree, anyway, it will evaluate the whole subtree. So I'm going to skip the calculation part at the first subtree, but computer does. Then 6 and 5, 5 is a mean node. So from the this node, we can the value, probabilistic value will be 2.5. So 50% chance to have a 5. Then the third one, mean value is 8. The probabilistic value will be 40% of 8, so 3.2. So from the first branch, a uh, possible return to value will be 6.5, so sum of them. This means uh, the upper level max node guarantee is greater than or equal to 6.5. Now we are going to use this alpha. In the second subtree, when I all the way go down, so when I search 10, now I'm going to start the calculation. If it's a 10 from the this mean node, the probabilistic value will be 5 or, because this is the mean node, less. Then the other branch has a possibility as a 0.5. That means when it has a maximum value of 10, like I think about worst case, the maximum value of 10, this one will be also less than or equal to 5 are guaranteed. That means this whole branch will return less than or equal to 10. That means greater than current alpha, so we are going to keep checking. Then in the second, so when I search 0, now 0 times 0.5 becomes 0. So this node now guarantees less than or equal to 0. Then another branch is still a possibility of 5 because Possible highest value is a 10. That means the whole branch now becomes less than or equal to 5. So this value will never update the max value of the upper level. That means you don't have to search the right branch. Then you can just return the current possible expectation. Then the third one, third branch. When I go all the way left, so I'm going to search 7 first. That means from the this node, possible return will be less than or equal to 0.7, 10% over 7. Then from the other two, it's 90%. So from other two, possible is less than or equal to 9. So the whole branch is less than or equal to 9.7. That is a high, so keep going. Then the second time, when I search 3, now, probabilistic value returned will be less than or equal to 0 0.3. That means the whole branch possible return value is 9.3 or lower. Still high, so keep going. And when I search 9, oh, so anyway, the first branch is now returned 3. Then when I search the 9, the possibility from the, this one is 9 times 0.5, so 4.5 or less than 4.5. Now the whole branched possible value, return the value will be, now from the third one is less than or equal to 4 because it's a possible probability is a 40%. So now it becomes 8.8 .8 as the possible return. So I need to keep going. So when I search the next branch, Oh, 9 is smaller than that, so it returns 9, so it becomes like a 4.5. Now keep going, so finally I go to the last branch, then when I search 2, now probabilistic value from this branch will be 0 0.8. That means from the whole branch, 0 0.8 or lower, that means the whole branch possible value will be uh, 4.5, 5.3, less than or equal to 5.6. This means uh, from the this branch, it cannot update the upper level alpha. So it just returned 5.6, the expectation. Then do not search more. So final value returned from this game tree will be 6.5. First, the branch is uh, evaluated and 
Now, max node is greater than or equal to 5.2. Now, I'm going to calculate expectation. Uh, when I go down all the way left in the second branch, it's going to start from the zero. When I search zero, the possibility, probability, uh, probabilistic value will be zero or lower from the, this node. That means the whole branch will be less than or equal to five because from the left branch, the possible highest value will be 10, so probabilistic value will be five. That means this is less than alpha, so you're going to stop searching. So prune and prune the whole branch. Then it's going to return expected value five. Then in the third branch, when I check the very first left branch, negative seven, ne um, left value, negative seven, the possible probabilistic value will be negative 3.5, so less than or equal to negative 3.5. From the other two brands, if possible, biggest value will be five. That means that this whole brand, if possible, probabilistic value will be 1.5 or lower. Negative 3.5 plus 5 is 1.5. That means you don't have to search more. They are going to prune, prune, prune. Then it's going to just return the expected maximum value, 1.5. Then finally, this whole game tree will return maximum value, 5.2.